hope your front door is locked and your phone is switched off. It's match time, and nothing can come in the way of a head coach and his blood bowl. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Sage Streaming Blood Bowl 2. The match that we have tonight is in the Orca Cola Championship. I'm playing these Wood Elves, who still have a skill pending, and I'm... I'm still kind of torn, but I think I will go and make a very, very good player who will live fairly briefly because, guess what? The War Dancer is getting piling on. Yes, really, a piling on War Dancer. Uh, yeah, that might be brief, but it should be fun. All right, so we're going to be playing against this team by Coach HUD, IRXES. Guard stand for a mummy, guard mummy, mighty blow tackle, white, a ghoul with um, blood, sure hands, movement, a wrestle ghoul, and a dirty player zombie. Pretty straightforward undead team. He's choosing to defend first. All right. Let's see if we can make the most of that. I can see why you choose to nerf piling on. Um, I don't think Claw is the real problem, uh, but I do think that this nerfed piling on is way, way too harsh. Hi there, Chloe. Welcome. Yeah, having having the pylon not stack with claw or mighty blow is actually a very very sensible one. <clears throat> you can choose to use piling on on armor, but claw won't help you. You can use choose to use piling on on injuries, but um, mighty blow won't help you. I think that's uh, that's a, a a really decent fix. So three journeymen is a bit much, considering we also have a tree. We'll just have to make two. So four loners in total. We are on offense here. Let's see. So I want to mighty blow, but not pile on this guy. Because dirty player is a threat. We want to make some blocks, I guess. Make sure we get that safe afterwards. And then our kicker can be there. Screen off a little bit. This should do the trick, probably. Who are you and what are you doing here? Let's swap this around in case we want to block differently anyway. Yeah, that should do. Hi there, Zacharel. I do believe I did. Quick snap, huh? Alright. This matters little, this matters slightly more. Um, do we want to make this differently? Different at all? Mm, not really. This is all fine. Okay. Let's start off with this war dancer block. Nope, just pushing. Right. So in that case, the three die is going to be next here. Let's do this first. Now I'm kind of glad he doesn't have frenzy. Yep, hit is good. Not spying on, of course. Oop, nothing just yet. I could go with this one, then that one. That could kind of work. Jeez, typing sage. Oh, 
Right, so how far is his goal? Not far enough. Let's get this safe before we do anything else. Now I think we can do the three die. And we're staying right where we are, huh? Apparently so. But at least the three die does something. But not much. Okay, so we want him one square forward so that the dancer isn't too threatened. That's good. Put him there. No, actually, yeah, there's fine. Oh, nice, we got one. Goodbye, Mr. Zombie, and welcome back. Right, so last one then. Also good, which means we can screen off and protect the dancer, so that's nice. However, I seem to have uh, <coughs> planned to use him twice, which, mean, which means this guy's now needed here to protect the piling on dancer. Uh, that's fine, really. Let's do the pickup then. No need to rush forward just yet, I think. Then again. This not have to attack, right? No. You know what? Let's just stick him here for now. So he just has a babe. Yes, I am a real sage, absolutely. <coughs> Sorry. It's weird because I did this before already and it said it updated it, which should work, right? No. Oh, well. So I guess we're gonna take a mighty blow tackle hit on Monkey G. One, two, three, four, five, six, one GFI there. Thank you, Kumo. I am not crazy apparently. <laughs> and thanks for that clarification. So it is Peter Johansson taking a punch. Oh, Mighty Blow is weak. Excellent. So getting two players out on the first turn is of course very helpful. And hopefully we can keep this dominance that we're starting to achieve here. <coughs> Am I willing to let my uh, <clears throat> my Treven go toe to toe with a mummy? I think so. Oh wait, never mind. I can't because the Treven is rooted, which means hanging around where he is for now is probably a pretty good idea. Otherwise, he becomes rather useless. Okay. Now what? I think two, four, six, eight. Yeah, we could do that. Uh, let's see. You're here. <clears throat> you are here, there, 
This guy's rather stuck because the tree can't move. And we're here. You're not going to be blitzing there, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's good enough. Let's see if we can surf that dirty player. First dodge is good. Second dodge is good as well. Just twos, but we'll do. Um, if he's going to be blitzing, then we can afford to move this one out just a bit. Give us a push there. Ah, Right. In that case... I guess we put something else, like this guy. That's okay. We still have the... Man power for that. Stand him up. And we put here. Dodge is good. Yes, excellent. Alright. That's not half bad. Let's put him there since he doesn't have guard. Okay. So, no surf, unfortunately. Yes, it is rather uh, rather iffy, the Mighty Blow piling on on the Dancer. <clears throat> Might be fun, though. Although it pushes, pushes back Frenzy considerably. Uh, no, I, he lost two. I uh, knocked out this zombie and I badly hurt one of these zombies, but it regened. So yeah, I, uh, <clears throat> I managed to, uh, to get some removals in early. Not the Surf, though. Would have been nice to get the Dirty Player out there. Yeah, we're not in any big hurry, so for the moment I'm quite willing to sit around my tree, have it uh, have it be relevant. It's gonna it's gonna uh, disincentivize my opponent from uh, from connecting too much here, which should then give me more liberty to to play the game the way I want to. Right, might blow hit on the kicker. That kind of makes sense. Oh, cute. I'm just gonna reroll this. So, oh wow! Oh wow! Well, well. If I choose to block this guy, I could blitz a goal. That might be good. Do I have the players to get that safe? Yes, I do. <clears throat> if it's just a push, then I can still pile on him here. But that's not a push. That is quite a good block. Oh, I blocked myself, didn't I? Right. So... How about you go here? And you go... There. Two, three, four, five, six. So then, it'd be here, for instance. I am exposing this guy a little bit. So let's see this. Oh, nope. There. And then here. 
Dodge is good with the reroll. Tackle hit is also good. Again, not a place where we want to pile on. I told you I would be using it sparingly. But there is no need either. So that's nice. That's good. Go here. The good thing here is that he cannot both get a guard on him and uh, his mighty build tackle hit. Right, so I guess we disconnect these then. Yeah, if I had two movement left, I'd go here, but I don't think it's worth the GFI. Yeah, that's also good. Very lucky. And another successful dodge. Things are going pretty damn well. Maybe here's better. Alright. Alright. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, not having frenzy kind of sucks. So now, the, the nice thing here for me is that um, <clears throat> the only player that's close to me is a really fast one, well this one. But this guy can't even get to my players without a GFI. And these guys are really, really out of it for a turn. Hi, Adresen. So this uh, this really terrible luck for uh, for Luba the White has cost him a lot of position. It does mean I'm moving away from the tree. It gives the tree is now basically useless unless I need a a fallback option somewhere safe to uh, to pull back. Since it's fairly early, that might happen. Yeah, he needs to get relevant next turn. So that makes sense. Alright. This means he's worried about me swapping sides again. Because if he wants to stop my push forward, then this isn't this isn't helping with that. So he really wants to hunt the backfield. I don't think he has the players for that though. He's already three men down. I think pushing forward like that is going to be problematic. Means he's giving me a lot of room to just group up around here, for instance. Is he gonna blitz the dancer with the mummy, maybe? That could be. What would be really, really good for me is if I could remove uh, Agni here before his uh, receiving drive. He chose to field his only sure hands guy on offense, or sorry, on defense. Uh, that is correct, Quiet Composer, and uh, I actually mentioned this. If I didn't need a reroll to do that, or sorry, if I didn't need a GFI to do that, I would have done so. But uh, I didn't feel like it was worth the GFI to try that. Oh, justice done. Alright, that's good. So we can disconnect from this fairly easily, and we still get a block on the white. That's uh, that's not bad. Not bad. See, these guys, they're, they're trying to chase me, but by the time they get to me, I'm already over here. So that is something I would have done differently. Let's see if we can hit the piling on, dude. Yeah, just a push. Okay. So let's aim for a surf next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can hear. I think I can get that safe enough. There. Sure. As long as I double screen this, that should be alright. How many players does that take? How many do I have? Hmm. 
Right now he's not going to get two dice in here. He's not going to get a guy in there either. Yeah, I want to make this block first, actually. Nope. Well, that's okay. So you stay. You're now here, I guess. Maybe here. And then I suppose a one die here isn't awful either. Yay, it's good even. Don't follow. No need to mark that mummy. Oh, wow! Wow, the dice are loving me here. Uh, yes, I am Dasselthan. Let's see. That should have the link. He regen though, so that's, uh, that doesn't help us second half. You know, this guy could be here, even. Mm, but that would make a 3 plus 6 plus possible. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I don't think he would 2 GFI for a 1 die on this dancer. I think, uh, I think we can accept that that happens. Yes. So I am on Twitter. Uh, I'm not super active there. Uh, about 80% um, of the posts I do are, hey, I'm now live. Um, but I do share some some worthy, worthwhile uh, Blubble-related news and gaming-related news every now and a while. Such as the fact that Focus, or rather, what is it, Rogue Studios, the one that did uh, Mordheim, are going to be doing uh, Necromunda. Which which is really big news, because Necromunda is a really, really big favorite for a lot of gamers. Um, <clears throat> so I'm, I'm quite excited about that. That is true, uh, Kumo, that is true. But I find Discord is something I use more for direct interaction, whereas Twitter is more like broad announcements and stuff. I don't know. Different people prefer different uh, media, shall we say. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five. So he could, with two GFIs, get his mummy in here. That would uh, give me something to worry about. Would keep me busy. Oh, yes, thank you for reminding me, Zacharel. So, um, you guys, I'm going to be going to Paris to Focus Home Interactive's um, uh, news event, which uh, they invited me to. And they're paying for my train, but not my hotel. So, if anyone knows someone in Paris with a, a couch to crash on or something, that would be great. Otherwise, I'll just be at a, at a hostel somewhere, which is fine too. Right, so if this mummy could see himself to failing a GFI here, that would be great. Of course, they don't have loners, so they're a lot more reliable for this kind of stuff. One's good. Oh, thank you. He's going to reroll this. Down to one reroll now. Um, I'm pretty sure I actually mouse overed and saw the GFI, but... Right, so if we would choose to block here, we're in a bit of trouble. However, however, we might just be able to do something fun. Right. Let's see, I think. The carrier can almost get safe. No, I think we shouldn't be focusing on that then. 
So you're here. And then you're here. And then we're gonna maybe we'll tackle this guy. Because he's the only sure hands, and if I get him out. Ah, oh, that's too bad. I might even. You know what? Yeah. There we go. Worth the reroll. No, not good. Alright. Fair enough. Fair enough. Can we get sufficiently safe out here? Maybe. We'll find out. So then, we need this guy here for that to die. Which is scary as hell. Because if it fails, then my dancer is screwed. But still worth making, I would say. Because getting a dirty player out is kind of nice. No, just out for now. Uh, yes, I would recommend it for new players, Root Casual. As long as you know not to concede there, it's uh, it's probably the best way, best place to play um, casual pickup games, basically. Right, so... Could do a two-die there to get him on the tree. This guy is just a little bit far, and this guy has Tackle. Right now I've got one assist on him. I could make that two. Let's do that, actually. Yes. Let's make that two. Okay. So that puts him... here. And then we're going to put a tackle zone on him. So that this doesn't become a surf too easily. Oh, that's one too far. Crap. Well, we could three and two that. Oh, that's nice. Three's good, but we still need the two. The two is good as well. All right. So then we have a one die here. And the push is good enough to get a three die with the tree. Yay. Cows are nice. Treeman doing a thing? Nope, Treeman not really doing a thing. Alright, that went uh, that went quite okay. Would have loved to get this guy. <clears throat> yeah, basically if I look at a coach and I see that his his level is not yet 20, then it just tells me that he's pretty new. Uh, although there are exceptions because, you know, um, when the UKBBL and the OCC moved over from Blubble 1 to Blubble 2, there were, um, <clears throat> there were a lot of uh, uh, new new people coming in who weren't new. Yes, I will use Don't Cheer. Yeah, so that is, uh, <clears throat> that is true. Yeah, I do, uh, I, I do play teaching games um, for... Uh, for money, because I'm trying to turn uh, playing Blubble into my uh, into my job. Really, Zacharel? Maybe maybe you don't gain uh, level points for league games. Okay, so he makes this dodge. He does not make this dodge. He tries this dodge. He's gonna spend his last reroll on it. Oh, and he fails it again. Well, that's convenient. This should make a stall fairly easy. <laughs> right, so... One guy here is a good idea. Um, do we want to blitz this guy? I suppose so. Three, four, five. 
Six. There we go. Two dice on a mummy. Because why not? Uh, yeah. So that almost worked. On the bright side, we might get to hit him with the tree now. And let's see. I only pile on this one if it's a stun. That's not a stun, so no piling on, because if I don't uh, succeed it, then he might foul me back right from where he is. So then, three, four, five, we need one more for this. Uh, <clears throat> actually, the, the teaching game is not uh, done via the Patreon anymore, um, but you can we can make arrangements directly. All right, so no need to get more players on there if we can help it. There. I'm not going to file. So then he's here. And now this is pretty safe as well. This is. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, um, I um, I charge by the hour, and if you um, if you are okay with me streaming and YouTubing the matches, then it's ten euros an hour, and if you want to do it uh, uh, outside the stream, then it's fifteen. And those are the current rates. But if I'm going to be doing this a whole lot more, I might increase them at some point because uh, you know cost of living and stuff. But uh, at the moment, that's what we're doing. Okay. So I number him enough that I might be able to turn this into <laughs> how much for a tabletop game? That's uh that's interesting. Uh I guess the same rates apply. Right, so what we could do is blitz from here, here, chain push into there, which would need one, two, three, four squares full, but I have I have room for that. It's turn seven, so there's not real positioning risk. Hi there, Jones. Welcome to the Sagelings. You don't really need someone else to score here. This guy can use the star player points. So let's just get into there before we do risky stuff. Right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight would be fine, really. So then we push here. Uh, let's see about who goes where. Some people need to go to the safe spots. Um, I think that would be here. Let's see if we can make this. There. Here. And here. No, here. Oh, he's got stand firm. Oh. Well, that was rather rubbish. Nah, I think this is a good enough spot to do this with. Oh, and piling on does something. Yay. That was that was really dumb. I could have gone here afterwards and there and then just pushing him. 
But Centrum gone, yes. That was a lot of effort, but this works. Three, four, five, six, seven, quite enough. We've still got that guy, that guy. We can get here, I guess. Yeah, it would have made for a nice play, absolutely, but it didn't. So let's just kill the mummy with a loner. <laughs> absolutely. Right, so am I giving up an easy surf? Not really. Would I foul this dancer with that goal? I would not. But... He can't reach anywhere near there, right? No. What would I do? I would blitz this dancer with him. So let's try and make that a bit harder as well. There. <clears throat> yeah. That was kind of uh That sounds kind of dum 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 dum. I should really cut off the that sounds kind of bit and just leave the dum 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 dum. That would be better. Blitz the kicker. Sure. Makes sense. Both down good enough. And again, not a removal. This has been all my half. So the only good news for him is that he's got uh, two Setsuke rolls, a babe, and all his regen works, which means he's got probably his full team for the uh, second half. If you push someone into stand firm, they just don't get pushed. And thank you, uh, thank you, Kuma. If you push someone into stand firm, they just don't get pushed. And if you knock someone down into stand firm, they just fall down. All right, Bean Chilla gets the touchdown. One nil. Really, really lucky half. Uh, one stays out, but he's still got another roll for that. Uh, yeah. Okay. So journeyman on the line. I want to protect my tree from the foul that I expect to see here. Let's save this setup afterwards. Although usually the tree will be on the line. But not with three Junior. Setup two it is. There we go. <coughs> oh, right. Um, yeah, do remind me on Discord if you will, uh, Kumo. Thanks. In fact, let me also... Um, I'll just do it myself. Here we go. So... He could one turn this. He does have movement 8. But, you know, the goals are agility 3, so this would be a uh, 5, 4, 3 dodge. <clears throat> he also still needs to do all the ball carrying stuff. And... Um... <clears throat> no reroll. If I were him, I would just be going for as much bash as he can get. Yes, it is possible to score with a Treeman. It is possible to score with any player who doesn't have the no-hands negatrait. <clears throat> In fact, I have done, uh, mostly on my halfling teams, because no loner makes it a lot easier. Oh, he is going for the one turn. Oh, I pressed something. Hi, Luffy. Hi. Hi. 
Uh, my treatment has been pretty underperforming so far. So let's see, he wants it there, so let's give it there. What's that? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, this is actually really bad for me, sweltering heat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If that's going to be a long pass, I guess. Hi. Hi. No. Ah, he changed his mind. Just a <clears throat> uh, Always their choice, uh, Don Eagle. In case of uh, HUD, he told me that he had kids sleeping who might wake up if he uh, if he went on Discord. Um, <clears throat> my opponent for tomorrow is going to join me on Discord. Actually, it's uh, it's quite a few. Uh, no, I did not, Zacharel. Uh, you would have heard if I did, actually. Okay, but now he doesn't get to push here because you... this isn't going to work, is it? Oh, he doesn't have a reroll, so now it's... Because he'd push him here, but then he wouldn't go forward. I don't think this was going to work even if he got all the right dice. Just this then. Okay, good. So I wonder if he'll foul in this situation. I guess he might. Even though it's journeyman. So, no more blocking, of course, because this go the blitz was already used. Yeah, and um, Bevan is an opponent whom I played twice, uh, once in the OCC and once in the UKBBL, and uh, neither time did he want to join, although he did want to listen to uh, the streams. Okay, just a KO. That's good. And not a send-off. So we're two journeymen down, and at least they're safe from the weather. Um, but that's a one in six, whereas the recovery is 50-50. Uh, so. Yeah, weather's the kind of thing that can screw up a game. If this guy fails to recover, though, he does have a bait, but if this guy fails to recover, that would be very, very good. All right, halftime break. Commercials. Oh, he stays out. My guys come back. How about the weather then? How about the weather? Uh, just the agility five, dude. <coughs> this is this is so unfair. <laughs> Eight guys on his side. I saved my setup. You? No, I saved it on two. Where did one go? Ah. Okay. Right. Probably yes. We can even <clears throat> consider going something like this, I guess. One player short for that, though. Mm. Then it's really not worth it, is it? <sighs> no. So then we just go rule 5 on this. Five, five, yeah, since. 
Alright. <clears throat> I guess that's our setup then. <laughs> I assume you've seen my uh, my uh, Forosaurus one skink one, right? Right, so he's going to rush forward. Fair enough. Does mean that he's going to have to get the ball to this guy. Well, this could be interesting. This could be very, very interesting. I think I would like to see the ball in this side of the pitch. So... Oh, lost a turn. That's not bad. Oh, that's a really good kick. Although... Here would have been better, I guess. But so far forward is nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he'd need a GFI to make a pass here. He also need to free this guy up first. And he's going to have to commit to that or swap around. It could be three SARS. I don't know. I like this kick. This kick makes me very happy. Kick is such a good skill. <laughs> so now what? To die with the mummy? To free up the ghoul to catch the ball? After a pickup GFI, I guess? Even then he's gonna have a hard time not to get exposed. Well I guess I guess a one die against a sure hand suit isn't too uh, too much to face. But this is this is huge risk. Three, two, three, three. And yeah. Three, two, three, three. That's pretty big. First three is good. I think this is also treatment interceptable if he only goes here. So he'd have to make two of them to prevent that. Treatment intercept would be very, very fun. Yeah, it's worth considering, Kayaka. All right, that that took my six. He took my six. Oh, that's not an intercept, apparently. Oh, and he makes it. Well, that's disappointing. So now he's got five guys, which is just enough for a cage. Which, of course, we're going to jump in there, but... <clears throat> Well, in his case, you know, uh, he's he's got movement eight and not that many players, so one turning isn't exactly easy. But if you if you have uh, if you have good one turning uh, capabilities, then just rerolling the heat might actually be worth it. Yeah, because if he can get a quick score here, then his situation improves a ton, especially if the weather rolls reverse. All right, GFI here. He still has his reroll. Zombies are going to be kind of slow to uh, to protect him, though. Because he wants to be in scoring range, right? So that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So if he comes back here, for instance, then he is able to score from there. Um, <clears throat> a ghoul per turn. He has one ghoul. Oh no, wait, we do, we do have this guy. Yeah, I guess I could just crowd him out. It's not bad. Let's see how much of a shot he gives me at the ball anyway. Because this doesn't look that defensible. 
Defendable? Defensible? Yes. This doesn't look that easy to defend. Right? Either he gives a shot down here. Nah, okay. So this is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Never mind. <laughs> wow. So yeah, I guess a loner block here would be a bit much. I suppose you might be right. Yeah, Stop that guy. Uh, yeah, no, please phone back. Hello. Hello. Oh. Yeah, you're going to have a nice time for me. Well, I'm going to have a nice time for you to wait until you're coming. I'm going to have a nice time for you. Yeah, I'm going to have a nice time for you. Right, where were we? The, yeah, hitting this ghoul is not ideal. I think we're just gonna uh, hit the dirty player for now and crowd around. You're up. Oh, we could three die. Yeah, it's not. Let's just go here. Make some room. Yes. Uh, no, thank you. There. Here. Here. There. There. This is kind of okay. Three die is good. Yay! Treeman is stunning a zombie, so he gets to do stuff next turn. I think hanging on to this guy is actually not that bad. It creates room here, but really, uh, who's going to go there? Just this guy, right? All right, all right. <clears throat> and thanks for, for the feedback, by the way, Peta. I mean, I know you're the number one uh, Wood Elf coach in Colt Champion right now. Congrats on that, by the way. Yeah, having only one mummy is also pretty harsh for him. It's not just fewer bodies, it's also less of a, a strength bastion, if you will. Yeah, might have done. Might have done. He was locked in enough. That's true. Here and here. That would expose the dancer a bit, but I guess I could have used uh, <clears throat> this guy for that and then not kept him busy. Well, yeah, it, it works. When it works, it's fun. But um, on average, I do think it'll cost you some games that you could have won otherwise. Yeah, the overtime stall was uh, was kind of fun. Okay. Could blitz with the carrier, I guess, if he wants to. 
It's his only block after all. Maybe Valena, maybe. Alright, so how does he get this safe? From this guy especially. He doesn't. Right? Well, but um <clears throat> I didn't know that he was going to stun, of course. If he, uh, if he hadn't uh, stunned him, then I'd rather be on him than off. But... Well, that settles that. Yeah, yeah, the zombie wasn't going to do much else, was he? Maybe Blood Tackle comes back, these guys come back. How about my side? Mm, oh, the strip ball's out. Uh, he's got two guys out, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. So I'm one player down now. All right. Well, this way he wouldn't actually get closer. He would just stop from, uh, refrain from getting further away. So. Hopefully, we won't need the strip ball guy this drive, right? Could choose to hit that goal. Actually, let's let's hit this goal instead. So moving him here and there. We can afford to do this. Got the Uh, wait. Swap this around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There then. Yeah, I kind of like, I kind of like this. A reroll for the undead. Deep kick, <clears throat> deep kick is not bad for me here actually. Let's see if we can hit that guy then. Of course, the wrestle is scary here. Especially next to a dirty player. <clears throat> but a mighty blow tackle hit is nice. Who needs it though? Right. And then he's gone. Not snakes, good. Right. So what do we got? 
Oh, screwed this up. Could have saved the tree for lost. Oh, more rooting! Oh well. No, thank you. Howls are nice, though. And now I've got a loner block here, which is actually really silly. Oh, nope. What is dead may never die. Right, so if he blocks this, he could get a shot at the dancer. Can we make that any harder? Yeah, a bit, I guess. We also want to be in the way here. That's kind of okay. I guess this would be a decent time to go do the pickup. Yeah, yeah, pretty good stuff so far. Uh, where's the movement eight? The movement eight is here. How far can you reach? Yeah, we're fine over there. <coughs> now we can kill this zombie. What does dead me never die? Oh, yes, stay. Okay. Are we worried about this line of advancing? Well, why not stay here while well, we can? That's all right. I guess I could have put this guy here to protect the dancer a little bit more. But this means he doesn't get a guard in there. Well, he could still get the hit, potentially. If he's willing to go up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two GFIs, though. Hi there, Northside. Wow. That was, uh... That was an interesting statement. Uh, thanks? Oh, it just pushes. Well, I, I, I kind of feel sorry for, uh, for you guys being stuck with the Trump and all. Yeah, he's got to get his pressure on. He can't just leave me sitting here because then I've got nine guys able to act here. Two, four, six, eight, ten. That would be two GFIs. Not really tempting to go there. <laughs> nice Diog. So, down to one goal again, right? Uh, no, actually, still two. Where's the other guy? Ah, here, of course. Yes. Yeah, that is very true, Peta. That is very true. Oh, he doesn't dodge him out? That's nice. And just get the three die him. I like that. Right, so we want to go somewhere here-ish. Keep this guy. Actually, can we get right next to the tree? That's not a bad spot, is it? That's not bad at all. So then we can use our blitz to hit this guy. Yeah, I like this. I like this. Oh, 
All right, my evil attack will guy is costing me a reroll and not going down. Sad stuff. So now this is suddenly a lot scarier. Four, five, six, seven. Ah, uh, that's not going to work. Four, five, six, seven. Keep him busy at least. Okay, that's not snakes. Happy that that one's out the way. So I could make this block, but then a push would be unsafe. I'm gonna make this three die anyway. Yeah, push will have to do. Yeah, let's try this. Yay, it worked. Right, put him there, I guess. Or put him down. Hmm. Could bring this guy one square out. I'm not sure I want to do that. No, I think it's fine like this. Yep, pretty decent. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so he can't get at me with the money little tackle except if he dodges. Which I wouldn't be too eager to do, but I guess I guess it's a worthwhile target. But he's got some big choices to make now. Whereas we have all the flexibility in the world because we have an agility five who can chuck the ball to anyone who manages to get out here by himself, unless he's keeping guys back to threaten them with. All right, it is the get stuck in uh, tactic. Fair enough, he does have his two guarders again. Which means he's gonna have to commit completely on this chunk of, uh, what is it, six players. And if he doesn't manage that, then I'm probably home free. Uh, well, um, they're not out yet. That's the gist of it. <clears throat> and uh, I can't share anything more because NDAs and stuff. If I can manage to escape whatever happens here without blitzing, then hitting him would be very, very good. Ah, is he's not blitzing with him? Okay, then I guess he's blitzing this guy with uh, stand firm. That still just gives me a two plus out here. I guess he chain pushing me there. Right. But even if he decides to go here, that's uh two, two six, seven. Yeah, easy easy all two plus right. No. This does add a tackle zone, but because we've got Agility five still all twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Could even choose to pass to this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can't quite sight like cage though. Well, let's see about that when we get to it. We're gonna bless this dude. Then again, we blitz this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We could blitz this one. Then we wouldn't really have backup for 
No, we're going to Ballista Tackler. That's the plan. Here we go. That's okay. So then, Ball goes to this guy. He goes to four, six, seven. So then he's here. With one guy as backup. I guess a simple screen will have to do. Hey, it removed the, the white. Torches are good. Pass to this dude. Pass is good. And the catch. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. I think here we'll do just fine. Okay, <clears throat> so that was this bit, and now I suppose we can try and free. That's a one die because guard on both sides actually. And do we? Oh well, I guess we hit this one then. Nope. Oh, it's a stand from one. You get. Yep. Alright, so then this guy goes here. And this guy goes, hey look, I'm an elf, I can do this shit, right? Nope! Wrong. That's okay. This is still fairly secure. Simple screen will do here, probably. <clears throat> Still got dodge as well. Not the easiest stall, but not impossible either. Uh, TBBL, yeah, so Siamon uh, was on that and was approaching people who hadn't accepted their ticket yet. I guess we can replace those people with admin teams and get things rolling um, <clears throat> and then allow them to step back in, uh, forfeiting their first round if we can't make it in time. But allowing people to get started is probably a good idea. Jilly guy might get sure hands next, I guess. It's probably not bad. Sure hands leap block. Yeah, looks like it, Peta. Looks like it. Thanks for joining in again. <coughs> See you soon. And thanks for the follow, Cepheus. Yeah, that makes sense. So then it's one dodge, two GFIs, two dodges and one GFI. I guess he wants to pick it up as well. If 
First dodge is good. Uses the reroll. Second dodge is also good. First GFI is a failure. He's going to reroll this. He's got four rerolls. What else is he going to do with them? <sighs> Skull. Well, that helps. Let's see. If we could get someone to cancel this assist, then we could get two dice there, and then two dice there. Would have been ideal to get around here, but we're not going to do that in that order, right? How willing am I to go say here? Fairly willing. Yeah, I will make that dodge. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine. So it would be uh, a dodge and two GFIs from here. Now the dodge shouldn't be a problem, but if the first GFI uses the reroll, then the second one becomes rather shitty. But I'd say that's worth the play. There we go. Because now we can do like this guy. Oh, and we go down. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. It's not the end of the world, but getting at least a push here would have made me feel a hell of a lot safer. I did position him so that if he gets knocked down, then at least it, the ball can't go out. So I've got more control of the situation. He can't quite blitz from this side to get him closer to the sure hands guy. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, one, six. Yeah, I guess he could put him here. And with a lucky bounce, might get the ball out. Or that. That works. But I still feel fairly in control. And this is his 15. So if he doesn't take me down now, I can afford to score. Alright, so he needs a 3 and then a 2 die with block. So both down is good enough. But I've still got the Jelly 5 for retrieval if things go, uh, get difficult. Oh, he fails the 3. So sad. He's had he's had a bunch of good options. I haven't really detected any big mistakes on his side, but he has been awfully unlucky. Might as well stall the last turn now that I get to kill this Sherhan school. Yes. Smack. Oh, he's not dead, but might as well be. Uh, you know what? This is the kind of situation where you can afford to do that. Yay! Star player points! Hooray. It's fine, though. Right, so which side is safer? I guess that side is safer. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Could still give it away like that. Could also choose to score now. Because this guy can reach me here. This guy can mark at least. Yeah, I think we're all right. We're all right. You know what? Let's do it like this, actually. We're here, and then we're there. That's better. And... No, why would we want to do that? Let's just make a 2 die block here, actually. No need to protect the uh, loner after all. <clears throat> and that might have well skilled my kicker. 
So. I suppose this isn't bad. And then we still have the two die here. Nope. I. Uh, well, what am I saving it for? Yay! Reroll! Might as well. Nope. Alright. Last turn. Monkey G goes to 14. Yeah, I guess jump up for, for Zacharel next isn't bad either. <clears throat> Although I won't. Like, as you have seen, I won't be using it too much. We could foul with the ghoul. He's uh, feeling, uh, feeling like avenging this game. No, I will not app out the journeyman in case he gets the MVP because he might still kill my treeman. He's still got dirty player, he still got a blitz, yeah. Best not. Oh, this was already the blitz, right? That would be that would be cool, Zacharel. As a matter of fact, since uh, we didn't do the um, <clears throat> training match in a while, how would you how would you feel about having that as your Patreon thing? We could do that. No, oh, just a stun, but he still has the dirty player. Uh, the zombie would not get the MVP uh, composer. Nope. You are forced to use stand firm if you are rooted. Yes, that is correct. You are not allowed to voluntarily leave your square. Yes. Alright, my turn. This guy can't reach. Do I have someone with block? I do not. Hmm, I guess. I guess we don't. <clears throat> um... Well, to do what you just suggested, so a team where um, people who are active in chat get to have their uh, play a player named after them, and uh, for them to choose the skill ups on that player, preferably something with uh, with mutation access, I guess. Oh, good winnings. Excellent. Very nice. Oh, the other journeyman got the MVP. Well, that's nice. Is there another match? Huh. So, I bought the MVP one. Turned down the other one. Yes. So, nine players. Uh, 90k in the bank means I'm not buying a tenth. But at least we've only got um, <clears throat> one uh, a tree and two journeymen on the sides. Alright YouTube, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, remember to leave it a thumbs up at the bottom. And of course, if you'd like to see more videos, do check out the channel and hit subscribe on your top right.